Got the Ford Focus. Uh, I think this is a 2006 up on the jacks here because it's been making a lot of um, a lot of rattling noise driving around. Uh, decided to take a peek underneath, and uh, it's gonna be the heat shield. But you can see the big aluminum piece underneath there that's come loose and uh, we're gonna have to fix it okay so here we are underneath the uh, Ford Focus and last couple days there's been a lot of tin can style rattling like I uh, just got married but and I'm dragging some tin cans around but I'm really not turns out um, this heat shield down here has come loose. You can kind of see right away. Uh, there's a, a rusted bolt and a washer here um, that has worn through. And here's another one. And all throughout here. And uh, you can sort of tell the problem more than likely started here. Probably some snow uh, or rain. Just getting a hold of this as uh, somebody was driving. And just pour it down. And then you're going to see the it's just rattling around. Attached to anything hanging on the um, catalytic converter, I think this would be. I'm not a car guy, a computer programmer, but so I think what the fix is going to be here is to um, get the corrosion off of some of these bolts and uh, and just install some larger washers, maybe. And call it good for now so let's see what we come up with okay used a little bit of WD-40 silicone spray uh, on these bolts and that seems to be doing the trick Not sure how much threading will be left in here to work with, uh, but at least the uh, you can see that's some pretty bad corrosion. Pfft. Yeah, nasty. So there's a total of six screws uh, on the underside of the heat shield. Um, Three of the bolts and washers were completely gone, just corroded away over time, and actually had pretty good luck with a 10 millimeter socket wrench and some WD-40 silicone spray. Uh, these came right off. Um, not sure how much threading is is going to be left on those screws, but here you can kind of see what the what the harsh climate of Wisconsin will do the underside of a car uh, yeah and they're just crumbling away all right so here's the uh, five dollar fix um, found some aluminum flashing aluminum flashing in the garage from an old aluminum pipe uh, it's pretty thin cut it up using scissors fold it in the, the sides to give it a little bit more strength um, and just drove a nail through the middle for a puncture. Went out to Menards, bought some 3 16 by 1 and 1 quarter washers. So that's going to go under the car over a bolt. And uh, it looks like these 10 by 24 lock nuts are going to fit those bolts underneath. 
and that should give it enough surface area to hold that heat shield in place. Okay, so it took about two hours, but got the fixes in place. See the aluminum flashing, the oversized washer, and the um, 1024 bolt went on pretty pretty well, threaded on well. Uh, this one back here was a nightmare to thread. But it kind of went on. It's probably the, the weakest point here. This stuff that hits under the car is probably going to rip this off, but it should be pretty stable for now. I got another one right overhead here. Another one back here. Uh, there's one above the catalytic converter up here. This hard to see, but that thread did not go on straight. But I think this car will be dead by the time that corrodes out. And there's also one coming off on a separate heat shield back here. So yeah, I just thought as long as I'm under here, I might as well give it a little bump there too. So there you have it. I think the total parts here were about three dollars and uh, so you can see the uh, this is pretty solid and no longer rattles like it used to. The end.